Hey, welcome to the show and welcome to another math review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look and writing two different number sentences for each of these arrays right here. We're also going to go ahead and try to divide each of these shapes into four equal parts. And then our last one is we're going to be going in adding these numbers. Uh, we got a whole number and we also have some numbers with decimals. Um, I will try to get some math reviews out every single week, so make sure you try to subscribe and that you don't miss one exciting episode. Also, take a look right over there to our new channel called Dino Math. We're doing a lot of cool uh, mathematics on that show. Also, dinosaurs and Beyblades having a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Write two different number sentences for each array. And if you'd like to try this, hit that pause button and then try it on your own and then check it with me. So let's take a look right here. I love taking a look at these arrays right here. Just a visual representation of information in a nice organized pattern right here. And we need to come up with a number sentence. A number sentence is something like two plus three equals five. That's a number sentence. So there are so many different options for number sentences. I think we're gonna stick with maybe multiplication today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just count the rows. So I have one row here and two rows right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put two right here and then times. And then how many do we have in each row? Let's go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four, five. So I have two times five equals 10. Now, maybe you're up here and you're counting the rows. So I might go ahead and put one, two, three, four, five rows. So I can put that right here. And then in each of my rows, I'll have one, two. All right, so I have five times two equals 10, just like that. So you'll notice on each of my number sentences, the sum right here, the answer right here is going to be the same. All right, so right here, if I wanted to, I could go two plus two plus two plus two plus two, and that would equal 10. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our next. Um, array there. We have, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with multiplication. So I'm going to go ahead and count my rows. So I have one, two, three, three rows. And how many are in each row? Can you count those for me? How many are in each row here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, good job. So three times four. And if you don't know what three times four is, just go ahead and add up all the triangles here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 right here. So again, I'm going to count the rows going down this way. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then in each of those rows will be 3, just like that. And then the answer is 12. How cool is that? Hey, I hope you're doing great today. Are you ready to do one last one? All right. Take a look at that. Or actually, I got two more screens. So, um, all right, let's divide each shape into four equal parts. Now, when I made this, I put three squares here on purpose because I'm going to show you three different ways that we can divide these into four equal parts. All right, let's go ahead. The first, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to make a straight line. So, I'm going to take this all the way over here, put a line from here to there. And then I'm going to do another line all the way over there to here. Now, do you look at that? I have four equal triangles, all right? That's four equal parts. There's also another way to divide a square into four equal parts. I can go right up here, come down, and do another one just like that. Now, I know it's a little bit off, but uh, I'm trying my best here, but I have four equal squares in there, all right? Four equal parts. There's also another way, and you could go, you could draw lines. So I'm going to start right in the middle, right here, do another line down here, and then another line right there. So I have one, two, three, four equal parts. So if you had a square cake and you got four people that are coming over, you know, or three more people that are going to come to your party and you want to share that cake with them, you want to make sure you're going to cut that into equal parts. These are different ways that you can cut that cake. I know, um, I wonder which, which one you would like to cut that in. Now here, 
if that's a pizza, do you know how to cut that into four equal parts? Yeah. Just take a line straight down, just like this, another line over here to there, and now you got four equal parts of that pizza. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I love pizza. I love pizza. Let's go ahead and divide our last one here into four equal parts. Again, you could actually do the same thing that you were doing here. You just kind of rotate that to look like the square right here. But I think for right now, I'm just going to go from here to there and draw a horizontal line right there. Make it easy there. All right. So isn't that kind of cool? Different ways that you can divide it. All right, let's go ahead, take a look at our last one right here. We have to add all these numbers right here. Now, I know that when I'm teaching my class, sometimes the, the students, they're not sure on how to do all that. And I'm always trying to tell them, always rewrite your problem. I don't care if it's uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And if it's written like this, go ahead and rewrite it. I am always doing that, even as a grown-up. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. I'm going to take 3.42. And now I have to take 12, don't I? But how do I fit 12? Now I'm going to come over to the side and I'm going to show you something. 12 is equal to 12.0. There's no difference in the value. It's also equal to... 12.00, looks like a six, but zero, zero. That's like $12, all right, 12, 12, 12, 12. That decimal point on the end is not changing the value, but knowing that I can put a decimal on the end, that allows me to line this up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit undo here, just kind of get rid of this, get a little room here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this part here. All right, let's go ahead and put 12 here. So I need to line this up perfectly. So I need to go put 12 right here and then the decimal point. When you add numbers with decimal points, make sure it's all lined up really nice and straight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my zeros right here. And they're almost like a place value. So it looks nice visually and I can like, okay, now I can make sense. Now I can start to add this. And now we have 1.2. So I'm going to go ahead and put 1.2. Now you notice that there's a space right here. I can add a zero there. It's not changing the value at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put a zero just like right there. I'm going to go ahead and put my addition sign. And now I am ready to add. All right, let's go ahead and add. And just like when we're adding a three-digit number, we always start with the ones. We're starting all the way over on this side right here. So I have two plus nothing, nothing. So we just drop that two down right here. Then I have four plus two is six. Now, don't forget, we need to put a decimal point. Just, just line it up. We have to have a decimal point right here. And now we can add, these are actually called the ones. So three plus two plus one would be six, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then we drop that one down right here. So there's our answer, 16.62. That was fun. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for joining the show today. I sure appreciate it. Hit that likey button if you can. Take a look at my other channel there, Dino Math, and uh, just try to get outside, get away from the computer, and you know, just enjoy, play ball, you know, meet a new friend, go uh, play some tennis, or you know, just look in the trees, maybe for birds or squirrels, or just sit outside and just relax. Um, you got to get out of, outside and you have to exercise, exercise a lot. And speaking of that, I better get out there and do some exercising. Hey, have a great day out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.